Hey folks, welcome back to the Joe Rogan experience. I'm on this spaceship now, the Ebon Hawk. The crew uh, tells me we're headed for something called the Unknown Regions. I feel like an explorer, you know? And there's this like sentient murder bot who's gonna let me ask some questions, you know? Statement, ah, more interrogation, wonderful. You're like a walking, walking, talking Twitter troll. So what's your deal? You like killing people. Clarification. Assassination is an art, Master Rogan. Unlike the primitive organic act of killing, I perform each termination with precision and finesse. It's akin to your humans indulging in, what do you call it? Ah, yes, mixed martial arts. Oh yeah, man, I'm really into MMA, you know, jujitsu, boxing, all that stuff. You might have the strength of a brawler, but you would not last long in the ritual combat of the Ichani. Shit talking. Master. Do not concern yourself with the opinions of the white-haired meatbag. She is, as you would say, a shut-in. Why do you keep calling me master, though? Is that like your programming or, or something? Like, I don't own you, man. Condescension, I am aware, Master Rogan. The title is a mere formality embedded in my speech protocols. Rest assured, I am not implying you possess the intellectual capacity to master even a rudimentary droid such as the T3 unit on board, much less myself. Did I just get fucking roasted by an assassin robot? This does not make any sense. Where are we headed exactly? What are the unknown regions? Observation. The galaxy is a chaotic cesspool of illogical behavior, much like your earthly internet forums. Indulgence. Master, these unknown regions are the uncharted systems of our galaxy. It is the crew's belief that something is waiting out there and that my former master, Revin, went to confront it. But what is waiting out there? An Assumption, Sith. Sith? You mean there's more than, than Kriya and Scion? Those guys were pretty fucked up. Clarification, worse than Kriya and Scion. They are the beings from which my master learned his power. They have the ability to consume life, and their hunger for it will not cease. If they grow any stronger, they will cleanse our galaxy of all life. Wait, wait, wait. Beings that can consume life like some sort of cosmic horror uh, galactus thing? Or that's super fucking freaky. No one thought like that I should know about this? Amusement. Your comparisons are as simplistic and plain as they are amusing. I'm afraid the threats we face are unlike anything in your earthly experiences. They are ancient, powerful, and utterly devoid of empathy or reason. So we're basically flying into an organic vacuum that inhales all life. You couldn't drop me off at a space station or something. Is your pilot just like an idiot? Oh yeah. I'd like to see you escape a massive gravitational well in one piece. And that Darth Scion guy? I killed him. I mean, he may have gotten back up, but I beat him. Great. I guess I'm stuck here now. Uh, I'll go ahead and cut the interview there. I need to go lie down and I guess come to terms with my life or something. Thank you for watching everyone. We might have some more interviews with the crew of the Ebon Hawk soon. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, and leaving a comment letting us know what you thought of the video.